It's quarter to two on the morning of London Marathon and I'm currently in central London. You might be able to see uh, Big Ben and the House of Parliament behind me. And the reason why I'm up so early is because I'm about to go and take part in a very unusual running event. Now this time every year, hundreds of runners get together and run the London Marathon backwards. So they start from Birdcage Walk and finish in Greenwich. And the Backwards Marathon is uh, something that I've really wanted to get involved with. So this year, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna take you with me. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, the Backwards Marathon is the London Marathon on London Marathon Day, uh, starting on Birdcage Walk going along the route of the marathon in reverse and then finishing in Greenwich. So all the people are out setting the course up, the barriers are all up, the roads aren't closed and obviously there's no aid station so we've all got our packs on with snacks and supplies and uh, yeah you can probably tell from the state of me that the weather's not been, oh the road, the weather's not been too kind. These conditions will be perfect for the guys doing the actual marathon. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that is the backwards marathon. Peter on the Backwards Marathon. Peter, you are not only doing most of the Backwards Marathon, tell us what you're doing. Yeah, so I got a club place in the proper one, so I thought, you know, do the double. Why not? So you're going to run two Cutty Sark and yeah. then go and line up on the start line? Yeah, so basically the first six miles of the normal route gets a bit boring, <laughs> so I'll cut it out on this one. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, just stay a bit fresh. Uh, yeah, it's good fun. Well, that is the end of my first ever experience of the Backwoods Marathon. So, I've done just over 14 miles, setting off at 2 a.m. Um, things I've learned, my body is a bit unsure about what's going on and why I'm making it run this far at this hour of the morning. Um, people who see you out running at this time of the morning are so confused, I think they just cheer because they think they're supposed to, um, which has been great. We've had policemen cheering, people setting up the course cheering, people coming out of pubs cheering. Um, that was great. And just in general, it's been an experience. I'd like to come back and do the whole thing again um, and hopefully make it the whole way, but my legs just aren't feeling it tonight. <laughs> so I've managed a couple of hours sleep, but still feeling really tired, as you can probably tell. Uh, but that might have something to do with running 14 miles starting at two o'clock in the morning. I've just had a check on Strava and some of our group who were running all the way to Greenwich have made it. They've done the full 26.2 miles, so huge achievement for them. We had about 20 people running with us and a lot of them were experienced ultra runners. They'd done nighttime races, so used to running that sort of distance and probably used to sort of running at that time of night as well, although I'm not sure you can ever get used to running at ridiculous o'clock in the morning. So one of the other things that I noticed about running the backwards marathon is that because you're starting at the end and going to the start, the mile markers are actually in reverse. So the first one that you get to is 26, and then it counts down 25, 24, 23. So that's how many miles you've got left to go. So that's a bit different to when you're running in a normal marathon and it counts upwards, so one, two, three, four. And if you've seen any of our other videos, you will know that I am terrible at doing math. So that actually took a lot of the maths out of the equation. But the group was great, running with them all, having a chat, it was really sociable. 
just a really nice community feel. I think everyone really is on the same page who's running the backwards marathon because you have to have some kind of similar similarities to people who want to get up and run at that time of the morning. There were some other waves who were running too. So we set off at 2 a.m. from Birdcage Walk, but there was another group that started at 3 a.m. and then another one that started at 4 a.m. as well. So on some of the out and back parts of the course, it was really nice to see them coming the other way and giving them a wave and they were giving us a cheer and just everyone sort of knowing what they were doing. It kind of felt like a bit of a secret club, which was really cool. So the backwards marathon did defeat me this time. I just didn't have it in me at all. It's two weeks since I ran Brighton Marathon. So the distance was just too much for me. My legs just so, so tired. Um, but I will be back and I will give it another go. But again, huge congrats to the guys who did finish it, did end up in Greenwich. It looks like they had a great time. They got to see the sunrise. They got much better weather as well. It was soaking for the first half of it, but it soon cleared up. So great conditions for everyone who's gonna be running the London Marathon later on. I need to go and get ready because I'm gonna go out and spend the day cheering on all those amazing runners doing the actual marathon. So I better go and get ready and drag myself out the house to go and do that. Mm -hmm.